Hey guys, it's Justin here, and today we're going to do a little unboxing video on a Murray Select push mower. Got a pretty good deal on it. We don't have a mower now, so we went ahead and picked one up. It's getting that time of year. There's some of the specs on it. It's a self propelled, front wheel drive. Mulch slide, slide, mulch side discharge, dual lever. She got the 625E series engine, 6.25 horse. Oh, sorry, torque. Supposed to be an easy start. Super low tone muffler. And yeah, the bridge Stratton. There's the model number MS21. 625. So, let's crack her open. Well, she's pretty much assembled somewhat. So I've got this the side chute. Let me open her up here. Got the manual. So we got two different type of operating manuals. I think this one's just on the mower. The motor itself comes with some oil. Generally use the braking oil. And with some, some stabilizer. It's pretty awesome there. And of course, the side chute. You got this little guy right here. It says you get a symbol before you start this guy. So pretty much, what you do is here, Turn around. Got these two guys right here. Yeah, on the these. And she should just fold right on over. Up straight like that. And I'm assuming put the right direction. Put these in. I haven't owned a push mower for a long time. I've always been used to on my little riders, but this yard is so small, the rider is overkill. Dipstick, you just put it to the manufacturer. What you can do is when you put motors together, everything's got to be lubricated. You never want to start an engine dry, especially a brand new one. So, we're going to pour this entire bottle into the motor. Once, put it back in, just 
pull it back out and see the restors. Yeah, in this case, it looks good. Well, a couple of the side pieces as well. The side chute, I'm not gonna install right now. I'm gonna just keep the, this attaching on for right now. I'm just gonna bolt it and see how it goes from there. If I feel need, I need to stick this on. Well, and I'll stick her on. I want to discover one thing. This handle goes up. I noticed it was kind of short. We we're going to inspect underneath it. The handlebars were pushed all the way down. Was it allowing the blade to turn it off? So, got some screws right here. Just loosen up. Should just pull right out. It pulls right out. Keep both sides. Something seemed kind of wrong there. I was about to figure out how I'm going to this thing. Alright, now we're going to pull the handle up. Too much like I did. Go back in. Get in the right way. And tighten her down. Now I use zip ties. They're still loose. So all you do is just get it down. About right here. Everything's got a good curve to it. Cable, cable's gonna get all binded up. Just tighten her down. I will start today, but don't have any gas right now. Just got two cycle, so I'll have another video in the future running this mower, so hopefully. It starts up and runs and doesn't give me any problems. Well, that's all I got on this Murray Select mower. And I'll post up a video up here soon and tell you what I think about it. Down below in the description, I'll post the model and make of this mower. Hopefully, she doesn't fail on me. Get at least a couple years out of it, if not longer. So, anyways, guys, take care.